Good morning. I have to squat down because Kelly's short. I'm so sorry. I'm shrinking. It's okay. We are getting our room packed up, ready to leave. Seems like we just got here. Well, we kind of did. We kind of did. So, we, we counted this one in hours, not days. We did, yeah. Very, very short trip, but it's been an awesome trip. It's been wonderful. Yeah. I, I wouldn't have, I'd do, we actually want to do it again. We do. We talked about it last night, and we thought, gosh, wouldn't it be fun to have kind of a grown-up like date weekend? Annual, semi-annual. Yeah, annual. once a year, it would be really fun. So, we may just think about doing that. Yeah, just come down here and just hit the lounges yeah. and not even worry about the parks. I know, I know that's sacrilege, <gasps> but. Know. Did you think you guys could do that? I, I, think I know we, we could, can. Probably, mm -hmm. yeah. So we still have most of a full day today. Our flight doesn't leave till seven tonight. So the magical depressed comes at 4.15. So we were gonna go to breakfast at Kona Cafe this morning no. and 6.15 came around really, really fast. So and we were still, we were still, you know, full from dinner last night actually, yeah. and we were whooped because we only got three hours of sleep the night before. So we scrapped that plan and decided to sleep a little bit later. So we're hanging out, getting our luggage together, gonna maybe grab a snack from the quick service. Yeah. Downstairs, yep. and then we have lunch at the boathouse this afternoon. So we are going to drop our stuff off at Bell Services. Yes. And then we're gonna go to Magic Kingdom because we want to get some of that uh, Memento Mori 50th anniversary yeah, from the stuff from the Haunted Mansion. Yeah. So we have a couple fast passes at Haunted Mansion and at Pirates. Yep. At least we get to say hi to Magic Kingdom today <laughs> for a little bit, and then we got some stack credits to burn because we have not used right. any. And we're just gonna burn them up. Get, yeah. Get some them stuff. Up. Yeah. We just noticed this to the right. That's the Tree of Life right there. Isn't that cool? Of course, Everest, it's not running yet because I don't see any trains, but that's the tree of life. Bye room. Bye room. It's been awesome. 805. Thanks for taking care of us. Yeah, this was room 805, by the way, and we have loved every second of it. Look, they got all the Halloween stuff, so. Yay, Halloween. <laughs> Seems to be extra folly, you know? The decorations and stuff. They do, they're a little oranger than normal. Yeah, seems like it, doesn't it? A little muted orange, actually, I think. I thought they were brighter last time. I don't know, maybe. Those look the same. Those look exactly the same. Yeah. How hard how easy to change those. It's the buntings that look a little... Yeah, a little different. Hey, let's see. Alrighty. Yes? Ooh, look at the cupcake. Gosh, eight bucks for a cupcake. It's probably one of those big ones, like the apple cauldron one that was I last year. Yeah, or the, that's what it was, poison apple one. Now check out the big old Mickey donut. There's the cupcake. It's huge. You know, we said maybe not doing like any parks. You gotta do Magic Kingdom when you come here. At least Magic Kingdom. You gotta, do, you know, you gotta see the Grand Dam, the Grand Dam, the Lady. It's really hard to not at least come into Magic Kingdom. I know. We thought maybe we wouldn't come to Magic Kingdom on this trip, but. Tattoo. I don't have no time to waste 
I'm trying to come back to you because now I see we were meant to be. One of these days, Alice. One of these days. Trying to do it with my watch doesn't work. Didn't care if we were acting stupid because all we had was us. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Because honestly, think about Birkenstocks and socks? Yes or no? Is it acceptable? Old fart or cool? <laughs> Old fart or hipster? <laughs> We're gonna go with hipster. <laughs> I don't really care they're comfortable. That's right, it's all about comfort. Memento Mori's entree, if you dare. Probably purchased more than we thought we were gonna, but. Yeah, but what the hell? Happens. Oops, did I say that word? I am so sorry. I know, it's ridiculous. So, anyway, we are heading to Pirates now. We're gonna head to Pirates. It's our last ride of this trip. Except for the bus that Disney Springs. <laughs> and the plane ride home. And the plane ride home. Yeah. So. It's our last Magic Kingdom ride of this trip. We actually rode more today than we thought we were going to. Mm -hmm. So that's good. Yep. So we will see you after parts. If I close my eyes and think about us, I can see the person I know I should be. Cause honestly, I don't have my time to waste. I'm trying to come back to you because now I see. Contemporary dance. <laughs> oh, there you go, leg in the air. Got the contemporary dance going on. <laughs> 
thing about the contemporary lobby is it goes on for days. It does go on for days. There's lots of good seating. Yes. Very modern. Very modern. Very nice people at the front desk. Got big lush couches over here. Places to sit and relax. Mm-hmm. And a little coffee bar. And a coffee bar. Another relaxing couch. Bell services. Hi guys. Go that door. Go out this door right here. This door. Cause see dirty bus stop. Disney Springs. Yeah, about to go eat at the boathouse. I'm hungry. Are you hungry? You know what? I think the boathouse is the best firecracker shrimp on property. That's right. It's, you like your firecracker I love my shrimp. firecracker oh, shrimp, yes. And the boathouse has the good stuff. It has one of my other favorite drinks too. Yeah, look for that on Food and Booze Friday sometime, huh? So you're gonna find out what that is pretty soon. Yes, you will. Um, world, or drink. world of Disney or bar? That's a hard decision. Yeah, because they're both pretty awesome. They had a bar in the world of Disney. Oh my lord, that would just be That'd dangerous. That'd be a really busy bar though, I'm sure. It'd be a really busy bar and they'd sell a lot more merch too. They probably would. Guaranteed. They've been known to do some drink shopping. Oh yeah. If you haven't, and you say you haven't, nah, I'm not believing that. So have you had a great time? I've had a great time. Up in the, as far as Disney World trips, where would you put this one? Oh, right in the top five. Did you hear that, folks? Five. So that means there's more than five. There are more than five. Well, <laughs> <laughs> I have a hard time, like, narrowing out things. So I probably have a top ten. Oh, yeah, because you like to do honorable mentions. This is I would say this is probably like number two. Number two on your trip on list? Trip list yeah. OMG. I got game. <laughs> okay, Bob. <laughs> yes? What about you? Oh, I would say yes, at least top two. I would say top. What would be top one? We'll talk about that later. Yeah. Our drinks are here, and as you can see, Kelly is a happy camper. And this one here is the blueberry lemonade. It's got the blueberries on top. And this one here is the shipwreck, which I'm gonna looks like I'm gonna like it. It looks really good. Yeah, it does. And cheers. Here to a great date weekend. Yes, it's been a great date weekend. Yeah. Is it yummy? Could you have like 12 of them? If I had two of these. <laughs> it would be good. It would be a real shipwreck. <laughs> it's not so nice. Here. We got a nice little window table by the water. That's the bar out there. Pretty awesome. And there's Bob's favorite firecracker shrimp. This is really good firecracker shrimp. Yeah, that's a lot too. And I got the ahi tuna poke. Yeah, this is almost like an entree. It is. I love ahi tuna and poke, so mm. yay appetizer. We're gonna dig in now. We have some um, fish, and chips. fish and chips here. They call it a bucket. Is it a bucket? It's a panko breaded cod. cod bucket with french fries. It doesn't look like a bucket. It doesn't look like a bucket. It looks like a pie pan and it is a hot pie pan. Yes it is. And yes. I got the ribeye. <gasps> Steak? Steak? Two days in a row? Oh my god. Oh no. That's the one my girl. Yes, but it looks very nice. Thoughts on your appetizer and entree? They are both very good. So that appetizer had a lot of greenery on it. Yeah, but it was amazing. It was really... I mean, the, of course, everybody says it's fresh, but it was really <laughs> fresh. Did it taste it fresh? It tasted fresh. And I was kind of wondering, what does fresh taste I know, like? but you know what? When it tastes fresh, it tastes fresh. Yeah, it's just hard to explain. Fresh is fresh. It's fresh. Yeah. <laughs> but no, it was really good. And your steak? Steak was very nice. It looked yeah. cooked very well. I just had to add a little bit of salt, and then it was perfect. But that's okay. That's okay. Because, you know, with these health-conscious days, they you kind know, of cut back on the salt know, a little bit. I've been sweating a lot, so maybe I needed some salt. Yeah, she's been a little perspiry, for it's sure. A perspiry. A little perspiry. Bob, how was Bob. yours? Okay, first off, the firecracker shrimp is awesome. That shrimp is so tender and yummy. Was it fresh? No, I wasn't going to say fresh. <laughs> Although it tasted fresh. <laughs> anyway, um, it's it's 
if you are a gentler palate and you don't like a lot of heat, this is not for you. But if you can take a little heat, I mean, it's just enough heat to where it doesn't destroy the palate and it's right on the edge of making you sweat. Mm. Right on the edge. Edge of sweat. Yes. And then you'll want something salty afterwards, which mm. I did. I got me the fish, the panko breaded cod. It was nice because it wasn't like mahoosive either. You no, know? and it wasn't like a lot of breading. It was a very good ratio of breading to fish. And the fish was like juicy. It but it actually, came out hotter than blue blazes, right? It actually sweated on me. Yeah. The fish sweated on you? Yeah, because when I bit into it, it was like drip. Oh, you had like steam come out? <laughs> Steam came out of my ears because it was very hot. Uh, French fries were amazing. Good. Too. Yes. Too one of and the by the way, meals. drinks were really good too. Yeah. I, I finished my drink. Bob did not. I had to wait till I got some food in my stomach before I finished it. Because yours was quite strong. I was getting a little, getting bit a little buzzy. Like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. Kelly and I got both the same thing. We did. Key lime, lime pie in a mason jar. <laughs> Jinx, pinch poke, give me a coke. Look at this. Isn't this delish? It looks lovely. And like we were saying earlier, it has just the right amount of sweetness to tartness. So we are going to gobble this down like it's Thanksgiving turkey. Okay, so you had your key lime pie in a mason jar. And? It was good. It was very tart. Very tart. But it probably been like half that size would be perfect. Yes. That's a good point. That was a good point. You just need like, sometimes you just need like a few bites or something. Uh-huh. I'll ask my own interview question. <laughs> so Bob, what did you think of your key lime pie? Well, I'll tell you. I didn't find it as tart as Kelly, but you know, she has a more sensitive palate than I do. I do. So, uh, if you're a sensitive palate kind of person, it'll be tart, and if you're not like me, it won't be. It'll be just right. You're kind of tart anyway. I am a tart one for sure. Spicy. Anyway, we're wrapping up this dinner at the boathouse, and we're going to have to go catch a bus. Back to Coronado Springs where we catch the magical depressed because it's on the way home. It's on the way home. The tragical depressed. Yes. But I still like it. I'm so glad Disney provides it for us. Yes, it is. It great. makes life so much easier. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. I guess we'll just see you at uh, back at the resort at Coronado Springs as we repack our garbage. <laughs> Because we're going to have a really nice Disney haul video coming out of this one. Yes. We didn't think we would, but hmm, I'll tell you what. We shopped. We shopped. We shopped. Remember me. I remember you. I've been thinking about you more than ever. I guess I'm lonely. I'm starting to grow old. And I thought my youth would last forever. All right, guys. Well, we are sitting at the bus stop waiting for the Magical Express to the airport. It's very bright out here. It so. is very bright. There's the bus stop right there. So we're just hanging out waiting. We've got about five or six minutes till the bus comes. So we thought we would wrap up this trip while we're waiting on the bus. Yeah. We had a great time. Thanks for coming along. We did. It's been awesome. I'm a little tired, so. <laughs> kind of... But and this sun is not making it easy. It wasn't no. making me close my eyes. It was like, a whirlwind, oh. very quick trip. So we want to say thank you so much for coming along with us. We yeah. really, really do appreciate mm -hmm. it. And we'll say bye for now. Bye Disney. for now. Bye, Disney. We'll see you next time. Love you. Bye. Love you. Bye. But just tell me where, and I'll come see ya. Cause I'm afraid. much I need ya Take me back to when we were kids and they didn't care if we were acting stupid cause all we had was us If I close my eyes and think about us I can see the person I know I should be Cause honestly I don't have no time to waste I'm trying